Hi. Wait. Start again. <laughs> Hi. Uh, we're smoking this weekend. And so one of my favorite things to make is uh, sausage and cabbage, like fried on the stove. So we're gonna try smoking it today. So I have a cabbage and I took the core out of it. And you can't tell because I already seasoned it, but there's uh, half a stick of butter in here. So we cored it and then we put butter and then seasoning. And we're gonna smoke it for four hours. I'm gonna put that little cap on there. Um, we're gonna smoke it for four hours and then wrap it up in foil and then an additional two hours. And we'll see how that comes out. Might be good, might not be. We're gonna give it a shot. Um, and then our sausages, we're trying a couple of different. So we have raw bratwursts that we're gonna do. And these are pre-smoked, so they're already cooked. But we're going to toss them on because the smoker's gonna be going, so might as well do it that way. And might get an additional you know, smoke flavor. We're also gonna do a chicken. We're not gonna actually eat the chicken whole. We're gonna cook it, and then we are going to shred it and make a jalapeno popper casserole with smoked chicken instead of just shredded rotisserie chicken. I'm kind of excited about that one. Sounds delicious. Sounds delicious. <laughs> so for our smoking today, we set up the master built smoker, electric smoker at 250 degrees. And like Jocelyn said, we're gonna be smoking uh, for four hours and then we're gonna wrap the cabbage and then put it in for another two hours. The uh, sausages, the bratwurst, and the pre-cooked sausages aren't gonna take that long. They're gonna be anywhere from 30 minutes to, well, I don't know how long the bratwurst is gonna take. We'll update you on that when it's done. And for today's video, we're gonna be trying out our new Bluetooth thermostat, our temperature probes. And this will help us make sure that our chicken, especially because that, that one needs to be cooked to a, a particular temperature. And we can't puncture the bratwurst because we want the juices to stay trapped in the, in the casings so that they cook and they're juicy when they're done. But especially for the chicken. But we're going to try this out and see how it works. Okay, so it's been an hour and I pulled off the pre-cooked ones that we put on there. These are the green chili, mm. and this one here was the longer kielbasa one that we had on there, but uh, it, it fell apart when I was taking it off the grill, so. It's a good sign, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, went in and chopped up one of the green chili ones, and I was gonna give it a shot, tell us what she thinks. Now on this one, I was cutting it apart, that uh, casing is real, Tight. It's got a nice snap to it. It's like eating. I don't know. If you're not from New Mexico, this may not make sense, but it's like eating how roasted green chili tastes or smells. It tastes like roasted green chili smells. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. So we're still watching the the chicken. I got the temperature probe on there to alarm when it's at the right temperature. Right now I'm just adding more smoke and letting them go. And the brats look like they're they're starting to get cooked. So we'll, they're just being slow smoked and see how they turn out. What do you think? I like it. It's good, yeah? <laughs> I think it tastes like roasted green chili smokes. That's what I thought too. <laughs> Goodbye now. Yeah. Bye. What do you think? Good. Good? How would you describe it if you could? Spicy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we took the brats off the smoker. It's been about three and a half hours, a lot longer of a cook than what I thought. But Jocelyn's gonna try them now. So I think we might have maybe overcooked them a little bit. They seem a little shriveled. Let's see what they think. 
They're really good. Really good. Like, okay, cut me off a piece. I want to try. Because <laughs> they're smoky, but you, they're such a fatty thing that they're not dry, you know? That's oh, really wow. <laughs> it's good, right? Would you say that's better or the regular ones that we do on the grill? This one. You think? Yeah, put some like a slice of cheddar. But I also like the green chili. The green chili one was good too. High five. Good job, Dad. Awesome. Good sausage, smoking. Cool. So the brats are done. The last thing we have on the last two things are the chicken. Right. And Cabbage. Cabbage. So the cabbage is gonna, actually, we should be pulling the cabbage now and wrap it in foil. Yes, I'm doing it in foil. This okay. is kind of a test run. Our niece, our best friend's uh, daughter. daughter, is a vegetarian. And so we told her that we would figure out something to smoke for her. And so, and I love cabbage. Who's so that? this is kind of a test run. Okay, so it's been four hours since we put the cabbage in. Okay, we pulled it out so that we could wrap it in foil. And Jocelyn's <laughs> inspecting it. I feel like we should be able to eat it right now. Like I said, I really like cabbage. Anyway, so we're going to wrap it in foil. So we're going to wrap it in foil, put it back in for uh, at least an hour and a half. Uh, just to get it tender. Right. And Jocelyn quit Sorry. tearing things apart. <laughs> um, and put it back in for an hour and a half, two hours. So we're gonna wrap it in foil now. So there it is, wrapped in foil, and Jocelyn still messing with the piece that she wasn't supposed to. Well, I was thinking that it might be like cabbage jerky, which got me very excited because those are two of my favorite things, but it's not. It's like paper. Anyway. All right, so back on the smoker. All right. I'm just not trying to. So, smoked cabbage. <laughs> smoked cabbage. Five hours later. Like forever hours later. <laughs> There's a little pool in it. A pool of deliciousness. It's really hot. I think it looks good. I think we could have not cooked it as much. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think it would have been fine. A little crispier. Looks like all the seasoning is like right where that hole was. Well, the recipe called for the five we hours. We follow the recipe. We always follow the recipe and then mess around later. How is it? it tastes the same but cooked as normal cabbage. Cabbage. It's definitely smoky, but it's good. Smoky cabbage. Yep. Smoky cabbage. I like it. I think I might like pan fried with, you know, bacon or kielbasa better. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> if you're a vegetarian, that's sad. And this is what you get. <laughs> After five hours. <laughs> yes. Yes. So Wait, if you can't five. eat ribs and brisket and pulled pork, you know, you get what you get. But no, it's good. I think it's good. Chicken. chicken you've ever done. Yeah. So this go round, he took the skin off of it and um, seasoned it and then what? 
I, I just seasoned it like I would a brisket or a pulled pork or something like that. Nice. High praise. <laughs> so, um, so there's no skin on it. It's all just the meat. Right. And you know, it's got that smoky brown color to it, and it just it looks really good. So, How I mean, is, uh, is it juicy or pull apart? Yeah, uh, the whole reason we had smoked it was to shred it and make a casserole with it. Right. But the kids seem happy about it, so maybe we won't. I don't know. But it looks good. Good job, babe. Thank you. <laughs> so that was our smoking adventure for this Sunday, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're definitely going to enjoy the food. And uh, even though it's, it's kind of late, it's what, 9 o'clock? Yes, but it's the weekend, so... Right, so. Time and carbs don't matter. That's the rules. <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching this.